Hi, good day everyone. This video is about permutations, case number one. According to its definition, permutation is an arrangement of things in a definite order or the ordered arrangement of distinguishable objects without allowing repetitions among the objects. So, the number of permutations of n things taken n at a time is given by n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 up to times 1 or simply equals to n factorial. So if that's the case, for our case number 1, automatically we have permutation of n things taken n at a time. The value of n is simply a number. Okay, So if that's the case, we will use the concept of permutation. So for example number 1, let's say we are asked to evaluate permutation of 7 taken 7 at a time. So as you observe, we have this value of n and that is equal to 7. So if that's the case, if this set of numbers are equal, automatically we will use the concept of factorial. So we will use 7 factorial for this um, problem. So we have this permutation of 7 taken 7 at a time is equals to 7 factorials or 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 and times 1. So if you want to simplify this, so that is equals to 5040. So that is the value of our first problem. Okay. Next, for item number 2. So evaluate this. We have permutation of 5 taken 5 at a time. Again, the set of values here are equal. Automatically, we will use the concept of factorials. So we have this given formula. So we have this 5p5 or simply equals to 5 factorial and that is equals to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 and times 1. So let's simplify this. So that is equals to 120. So that is our final answer for this given problem. Next, for item number 3, let's try to answer some word problem. So suppose the racing club organizes a race which five cars A, B, C, D, and E are joined. The question is, how many race results are there Okay, if there are no ties? So as you observe, according to our problem, there are no ties. So the number of possible race results if there are no ties is the same as the number of permutations of five things taken five at a time. So all of our cars, they have a chance to win this race. So we will use this formula. We have 5p5, a permutation of 5 taken 5 at a time. So that is simply equals to 5 factorials and 5 factorial is equals to 5 times 4 times 3, 2, and 1. And 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 is equals to 120. Therefore, we have 120 possible race results if there are no ties. Next, for problem number 4. In how many ways can 6 people be seated in a row? So same um, case, since we have this um, problem where in, we are asked to determine the number of ways can this um, set of people be seated in a row. So in a row, that means we need to use the concept of this factorial. So this is similar to permutation of six things taken six at a time. So this is equals to six p six or simply equals to six factorial and that is equals to six times five times four times three times two and times one. So by simplifying this, six times five times four times three times two times 1 is equals to 720. So we have 720 ways to arrange this set of people seated in a row. For our final problem, in how many ways can you arrange the word love? So as you observe, if we are asked to arrange or determine the number of possible arrangement of words, we will um, use the same formula, the formula for the permutation. So first thing is we need to determine the number of repeating letters. Okay, 
So for this given problem, since there are no repeating or repeated letters, so that is similar to the permutation of four um, letters taken four at a time. So we will use the concept of permutation case number one. So we have this L, O, V, and E. So um, if you want to count the number of L for this given word, we have one, we have one for O, we have one for V, and we have one for E. So that is um, no repeated letters. Okay. So if that's the case, we will use the concept of permutation case number one. So we have this formula. We have permutation of four taken four at a time. So that is equals to four factorial. And four factorial is equals to four times three times two and times one. And that is equals to 24 possible arrangement. So that is our final answer. So thank you so much and God bless.